can go to Ringside Collectibles and use discount code TANNER, T-A-N-N-E-R, all caps, to save 10% at checkout. What's up guys, WWE Fan Talkshow here, bringing you guys another Ringside Collectibles unboxing. Today we have the brand new AEW Unrivaled Series 5, which is an absolutely outstanding set filled with a ton of new characters from AEW as well as some uh, as well as some of the other characters we have seen before. We have guys like John Moxley, Luchasaurus, Frankie Kazarian, Hangman Adam Page, just to name a few. And we're going to take a in-depth look at each and every one of them today. So if you are interested in seeing every single figure in this set and seeing a detailed look at them, then make sure to tune in to the entire video. Alrighty guys, without further ado, let's get to the first figure in Series 5 AEW Unrivaled. Alrighty, so starting with the first figure in series five we have John Moxley I figured we'd start off with probably the most popular figure in this set uh, besides Luchasaurus we have the former AEW world champion John Moxley this is the attire he wore when he faced MJF last year at all out and I think this figure looks really cool and I think it may top the first figure I'm not sure but we have the classic AEW unrivaled packaging with the gold John Moxley on the side with the brick wall AEW number 37 in the wave Where's the back? That's from uh, the actual match. Pretty cool, there's all the stats. Here are all the figures in the set. Nothing really at the bottom. There is this side. And uh, yeah, guys, let's crack them open. I will be opening the first figure on camera just because I never really have done that with the AEW one. So let's just cut it open so you guys get to see uh, what it's like. I don't think there's any tape on the side. So we'll just pop it open on the bottom. And actually, wait a minute. It looks like, oh yeah, we have to do cut it from the sides. Okay. Cutting it a little bit. I'm gonna be ruining the package. Which is totally fine. I usually just rip them open off camera, but I'm not gonna rip it open right now. But something that I hate about this these figures is that they totally ruin it from mock collectors. Like if you do wanna keep them in package or if you wanna open them and then put them back in the package, you can't because it's like blistered, blistered card right here. And here we have the AEW John Moxley. It comes with the, let's get the belt out. The AEW World Championship right there. A lot of people are saying that this looks a little different from the first release. It's the same exact mold, same exact belt. Um, it looks really nice and accurate, but it's just like a, a darker shade of gold. There's like less silver, um, but I think it's really cool. It's a, it's a really nice looking belt. <clears throat> and then we got John Moxley popping it out. It's pretty easy to get him out. So far, kind of feels like it's loose. Uh, but there we have the John Moxley, and the head sculpt looks pretty good. Um, we got they got the hair color pretty on point, I think, with the red and everything. It says Mox on the back of the jacket, and the jean vest, I guess you could call it. Um, and this head sculpt looks pretty good. Now let's take off the jacket. And uh, there's the inside of the jacket. Nothing really crazy. We have seen this before. Um, and then something interesting that they always do with the AEW figures, whenever, have, whenever they have clothing on them, they put the plastic stuff to protect the paint and all that. Uh, but I think this John Moxley looks fantastic. Um, I don't know. I think they changed the skin tone on this figure because I think the first figure uh, suffered from the, the Series 1 virus with where it looked like they were all Seamus and they all like were unable to tan. Uh, but it looks like they fixed that on this John Moxley and the skin tone looks right. Head sculpt looks great. It's still really tall. Um, I don't really mind. I did fix the height in the other one. It doesn't need to be fixed just because if you compare the John Moxley to like Edge or Randy Orton, he sizes like right up there with them. So it's perfect. Like he's 6'4 and he's like leveling up with like Drew McIntyre and Edge. So this is not inaccurate at all. It's just like, you know, all the other figures, like it, not every single figure is gonna be uh, true to size. So it is what it is, but these pants are way better than the first ones in my opinion. There's so much more detail and like splatters of yellow and this camo is so much more interesting. Um, and then we get the boots. Looks just like the boots he wears. Um, but yeah, overall really nice looking John Moxley. Uh, again, he does come with the AEW World Championship and the vest. So let's move on to the next figure in series five. The next figure we have is Scorpio Sky. Just took him out of the package. And this looks like a very nice figure. Very interesting. There are some complaints. I'm not gonna try to complain too much just because this figure is fantastic. And it's the first time we're getting SCU figures. Uh, and this is very interesting right here. Um, I like how Jazz wears, even though there's no way they're gonna fit this around his waist just because this is rubber. 
uh, they went ahead and took the extra step to put a little rubber band uh, just for the purpose of the in package look and I think it looks great. Uh, so we can take the championship uh, or the rubber band off. And this is our first time seeing the tag team championship. It does look like that plate's upside down, but it's no big deal. Uh, it looks just like the AEW championships. It looks really, really cool. Um, the back is not snakeskin, but who gives a damn? Are you going to be looking at the back or are you going to be looking at the front? Um, but there is the first tag team championship. Uh, and then Scorpio Sky does come with his vest. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it comes from this side. Uh, that's probably going to be a pain in the butt and probably a complaint from people. But what are you going to do? Oh, you have to pop off the head probably in order to take this off. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm going to break it. There we go. Yeah, you're probably going to have to take the head off in order for that to really work. Um, cause that's just kind of painted the butt. Uh, but this does look like a, a really good vest, SCU California in the back. Sliding that back on. We do get the annoying plastic stuff. Taking that off. And then let's pop the head back on off camera. And here we have Scorpio Sky. And I think this is a fantastic figure. With the vest off, I think it does look like his, uh, his physique. And I think the height is on point. The tights look really cool with the yellow. I like that a lot. I wish we got the USA attire. I believe they wore the US, I think they had a USA attire, something like that. Um, I do believe at the first AEW show, but this is really cool. I believe this is when they won the tag team titles. Uh, there is his white boots, looking really cool. And yes, there is boot swivel, which is very nice. And uh, it is kind of loose. The joints are like, I don't know, that's just the material that they use or the type of plastic, which is totally fine. Easily posable. Uh, but there is Scorpio Sky with the AEW Tag Team Championship. Looking really cool, putting him next to John Moxley. You could just see the height difference right there. I think that is accurate. That's just my opinion. Um, but I do think that their interpretation or their take on heights is pretty accurate. That's just my opinion. Alrighty guys, the next figure we have in the set is Hangman Adam Page, and this figure is very, very impressive and might be one of my favorite figures in this set. This is definitely a step up from the last figure. The last figure would kind of look cartoony, they had the clown feet, and it just didn't look that realistic. This one changed my mind. The boots are fantastic. The tights are great. You got the tassels on the side. You got that cowboy look. Um, just everything, all the designs going throughout, the details are so fantastic. And the sculpting work is great. We got the removable elbow pads um, and the same exact torso, um, just the skin tone is updated. I do have this little thing right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, it's like this white plasticky stuff. So I don't really know, I'm probably gonna have to paint over that, but this is a fantastic looking Hangman Adam Page. This is a level up from the first figure. And in order to get the uh, bandana off, you're gonna have to pop his head off and then pop it back on. Let's see. Pop it back on, and there you have Hangman Adam Page's uh, head scan right there, which looks really good. And I think it looks better than the first one. You can take off the jacket or the vest if you want to as well. And uh, there you have it. Hangman Adam Page looking very, very cool uh, and looking very uh, accurate to the actual attire from Hangman Adam Page. And I think it looks great. It also comes with some very interesting accessories. Um, some out of the box accessories. We get like a little pitcher right here, a beer. Uh, you could fill it up with whatever you want. I think it would be, I think it's cool that they didn't just make it like filled. Like you could probably fill it with like apple juice or actual beer and like it'll look cool if you want to do like figure photography and stuff. Uh, you also got a gun pointing hand for the cowboy himself as well as a shot glass, which will, which should be interesting as well. Overall, very fantastic figure. And uh, this is one of my favorites so far in the set, Hangman Adam Page. Alrighty guys, next up we have Jungle Boy himself. And this is proportionately probably the best, just like based off of like body proportions and stuff. Probably one of the best AEW figures yet. I think this torso is definitely made for guys like Darby Allen and Jungle Boy, just the petite kind of small uh, wrestlers. Um, and this looks just like Jungle Boy, all that great detail. And while it looks basic and there's just like brown and black and a skin tone, we do get some cool knee pad detail work on there. This is like uh, that special technology they use for knee pads nowadays, uh, where it like, when you land a knee, it shocks it and like moves it all around rather than just like in that one spot. Really interesting. Uh, we do get his boots, which he does wear all the time, looking very nice, his trunks, and these are removable. And uh, there's his head sculpt, looks just like Jungle Boy. 
fantastic. You got his curly hair and uh, everything about this figure is fantastic. There's not like a whole ton to say just because it's, you know, it's basic, but the amount of detail that they do put in it is very impressive and fantastic and makes this figure level up. Uh, we do get some like cool, interesting grappling hands, I guess you could say. I don't think we've ever seen those. Maybe, or they, no, actually, sorry. I think these are the John Moxley hands or I think these might be the generic hands that we usually get, like the Mike Holding hands, but very cool. Jungle Boy, absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to get the Luchasaurus out and take a closer look at him. Next up, we have Scorpio Sky's tag team partner or former tag partner from SEU. We do have Frankie Kazarian right here, and uh, I wish we got Christopher Daniels in this set. Maybe we will in the future, uh, but the, knee, the kick pads and everything look good. I, I believe we got this with Pac which means we don't have the swivel, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not the biggest thing for me. We do get the rubber jacket, which is kind of a bummer, but the cool thing with rubber pieces rather than cloth is it looks more realistic. Um, so we do get the gold, black, and white with all the studs, the worst town I've ever been in. That was always fun to see on BTE. Of course, we don't see that anymore, but it was one of those classic skits we got to see. Uh, we do get the other AEW World Tag Team Championship to go along with the Scorpio Sky one. And uh, we do get to take this off. And it might be a little pain in the butt, so I'm gonna do it off camera. All right, so here's Frankie Kazarian uh, with his jacket off. That was kind of a pain in the butt. I probably will not put that back on. Uh, maybe if I want to display him, but the body mold uh, and the torso, everything looks pretty much just like him. Cool tights, cool details. It says SCU on the side. Here's the butt. This could have totally been like an undisputed era level um, team if they would have um, held it out, but uh, I don't know. These knee pads look really cool. I wish we would get more unique knee pads like this with the Mattel figures, but we don't. And uh, Jazzwares is doing that for us. This does definitely look like Frankie Kazarian. It's pretty much on point. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. We do have Frankie Kazarian. Let's hit Scorpio Sky over here. And then we have our tag team champions. Let's get the belt on his shoulder. And there we go. I believe they are our first ever AEW World Tag Team Champions. So pretty cool. Let's get to the final figure in series five. And the final figures in this set is definitely the best one in the set. We do have the Luchasaurus. Uh, this one is probably one, probably going to be the highest ranked AEW figure yet. But the, as much attention and how, my, how much the fans back uh, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, like you would think they would be doing way more with them, but they just don't. Like they don't really use them. Like they're never putting them in the tag team championship picture. And when they do, they lose. And the, we just don't really see a whole too... Like, we don't see a whole bunch of them. Um, like, I feel like we should. Like, I feel like so many people would buy into this. The merchandise would sell, but they just don't. So, like, this is, hands down, the best AEW figure yet. Yet, he's not in the World Championship picture, not TNT, not Tag Team. He's not even in a good storyline right now. And, like, you would think that they'd be using Luchasaurus correctly. It's, like, the coolest gimmick out there. Uh, but we do have the mask right here, which looks really cool. Get the green tongue coming out. We even got some of the green, like, mouth stuff like whatever he has in his mouth uh the dye on his beard and uh, we get all the scales coming throughout the the, uh, the mask um, as well as his eyes it does look like he's wearing a mask so that's pretty cool we do get the little braid right there of green we get, do get the strap detail looks like he's actually wearing a mask really cool he even gets his ear right there we got all these interesting tattoos it looks like trees and just foresty kind of strange stuff roses uh, and this belt piece is removable it's a very soft material soft rubber you can remove it um, and we do get that cool kind of snake skinny material not material but that look and all the gold and he does have shoes he has those interesting like toe they're like toe shoes or something um, and the tassels just this entire figure is great I don't know what body mold this is at first I thought it was gonna be John Moxley body mold but I think this is the first ever time we are seeing this body mold um, it looks like it could totally be the Triple H torso, uh, but people were saying this is the biggest figure in the line yet, and I'm curious to see. Let's see if we can even get him standing. It looks like he's not going to stand. Uh, let's get John Moxley next to him. And it, to me, it does look like John Moxley, maybe almost as tall as Luchasaurus. 
So yeah, he is technically the biggest, but they size that pretty well. And I think that is realistic. Um, and you can get them all posed up with Jungle Boy on his shoulders. Let's get that all posed up. They are gonna do that with the ringside exclusive. I think that's gonna be great. Here's that classic pose that we should see with the tag team championships. This is what we should be seeing. We shouldn't be seeing them on SU. We should see him on the Jurassic Express. As I was saying before, this is what we should see. I had to get the belt on them. We have the AEW World Tag Team Championships and hopefully we see this in the future and they don't pull a move where they like separate Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy or Marco Stunt. Uh, we should see them win the Tag Team Championships. That would be fantastic. Um, but I hope they don't pull a WWE and just bury these guys, which totally sucks. Um, but that is it for this video review, guys. Again, we have Hangman Adam Page, Frankie Kazarian, Scorpio Sky, John Moxie, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. This is hands down my favorite series yet. I think it's the most creative. We got the best paint jobs. Um, we get really cool tires, a lot of fixes and skin tone. Everything about this set is great. So many great accessories. We get three different championship belts. Uh, but that is it for this video review, guys. If you're interested in picking up the set, I definitely recommend going in the description, clicking on the Ringside Collectibles link, and getting these guys. They may be on back order, or they may not even be available on Ringside Collectibles just because everybody bought them and they sold out, but they may be up on there still on back order. So I definitely recommend going and picking up like a, at least a few of these figures in this set. If I had to pick all, any of them up, I'd pick up the... Uh, Luchasaurus, the Jungle Boy, and the John Moxley. Uh, then I'd probably go with Hangman Adam Page and then the rest. Uh, but this entire set is fantastic. 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. WWE Fan Talk Show.